Hey everybody, Michelle with Michelle's Free Living here. Thanks for watching my video. And today I'm going to be making a charcuterie board, but mine's going to be on that tray back there. I don't have a wood board because I am doing this Dollar Tree style <laughs> this year. And um, yeah, I went to Dollar Tree yesterday. I picked up a variety of things now mind you the dollar tree i went to was is a really small store i've been in some that are twice as big and have like three times as much food as the one this one had so there's probably a lot more variety of things that you could get if you have a larger store so um basically i have 17 food items and then i got some toothpicks this little ramekin for the french onion dip and this is the tray i got um, I was looking for something that was red and festive. I know it's got fruit on it, but depending on what time of year you're doing it, that might work. But um, to help hide that, I have a piece of uh, freezer paper, which you can get there. I didn't uh, buy a whole package of freezer paper, but um, I cut one off I had. But you could have that if you need to do that. Now, just remember, some of the trays they have there, which I saw one that was I liked uh, better than this that I thought would have been more festive for Christmas... Um, Ashley says not uh, food safe on it. So be sure and look at the trays. Um, you know, it was just meant for decoration. Okay. And they had it over in the, um, with all the um, dishes and the kitchen stuff, which is confusing to people. Okay. So that's the tray I'm going to use. And, and I have this dish right here for the dip. Um, certainly I didn't get any mustard, but mustard would have been uh, another valid thing that I could have easily gotten and thrown on here. And then also um, some jelly would have uh, worked well also to have a little container uh, dish of jelly on there because people might just want that on their crackers. So um, I got crackers and um, some mixed nuts um, and dried fruits for a crunchy item. Um, the candy sweet, I've got um, some Andy's mints. For meat options, I've got um, herring fillets. I've got two kinds of jerky, turkey jerky, and um, I picked up some cotta salami right there. Um, cheese options. I got two two different cheeses, but they had a couple other varieties. They also had some other, like, sliced turkey there and some bologna, which you could throw on there. French onion dip and um, another fruit option I got here, uh, mandarin oranges. I've got uh, some black and some green olives. Uh, canned asparagus. These are red peppers, uh, sweet gherkin pickles. They had uh, probably six different kinds of pickles there. And uh, and like I said, the crackers. Okay, so I got to get these opened and um, I'll drain off the liquid off of the things with liquid um, so they won't make puddles on the tray. Okay, so I have my tray and the freezer paper laying down there. I put the French onion dip in the little ramekin here. Um, I don't want it in the center. I'm going to have it off center just a little bit. Um, first thing I want to do is I'm going to put some crackers back here. And have them coming around the dip like this. Then um, I'm going to put some cheese right here. I'm going to put that on both sides. And I just um, cut the block of cheese in half and, and then uh, put a little slice on it. Okay, so there's that one. Now, these other crackers um, are long and skinny. I think it's nice to have a variety of uh, shapes. So I thought that I might try and get these to stand up when oh, it's broken. And that's only half of the crackers that are in there, but... Um, do have another half. I'm kind of putting the cheese next to the crackers in case any juice does um, come, you know, off of the olives or, or anything that it won't instantly sog up the, you know, don't put those wet things next to the crackers is, I guess, what I'm saying. So, 
that's what I'm doing here. Though I did drain off the, uh, drained all the liquid off of the things. Um, okay. So, there's that. And then, let's go for my cutting board back. I forgot. Um, the salami. So, um, there's a variety of things you could do with the salami. Certainly, um, with some, if you wanted to use toothpick, you know, to to hold it together, you could, um, but then you've got toothpicks in, in the mix. So, um, I was thinking about the size of my crackers and the size of this, and I think it's too big. So, um, I'm just gonna cut all of this salami in half, and I don't know how much of it's gonna fit onto the board itself. But what I decided to do, I think um, folding it in just in half is is good enough so um and of course you can lay it around and make fans and we'll see what happens here because it might not want to do what i want it to do and what i want it to do is stand up around this um dip And I might have to um, throw something else in here to help get it to stand up like the pickles or something. Um, yeah, I'm going to, I think it's like, part of the thing about making one of these is, is that you fill up all the space that you have. I think it um, really makes it look so much better. Okay, actually, I think that worked out pretty good, cutting them in half and um, standing them up like that. And now, I'm just going to wipe off my hands, it was kind of slimy. I think I'm done with the cutting board now. Okay, so let's put some olives in here. Um, Actually, that asparagus is pretty big. Maybe I ought to put that in next because, um, yeah. I've never taken this out of the jar. I'm going to hold it over the sink. Um, why asparagus? I was trying to get a vegetable, some kind of a vegetable in here that looked pretty. And I think that is. Um, I'm going to... Everything's kind of pointing inward, so I'm just going to pile that up right there. And I'm going to wipe my hands off. Okay. And since that's green, I don't want to put the green olives over there on that side. I'm going to put them over here. I've got the black olives. And these will help... Hold the salami together here. Oh, I've got that, um, I've got this, um, herring also. Let's find a place for this. I think I'm going to go on this side of the asparagus. meats. I have this um, turkey jerky here which I think um, got a hole right here by the um, crackers and the cheese so I'll put that in there and um, let me just set that other, I got a little bit left that didn't fit in that spot, but I'm sure I'll throw it on here. Or maybe I'll have a snack while I'm doing this. Um, okay, this, this other flavor, spicy Thai, I think I'm going to stick it right here. Okay. 
Now these black olives, I'm going to stick some right here. And I think it's okay to put stuff in two places, but kind of if you if you start putting things in two places, I mean, I've got the cheese, the, the orange cheese in two places and, and this cheese in two places. But um, if I was doing this non-Dollar Tree style, I probably would have four kinds of cheese <laughs> and, um, and not done that. Um, okay, I think my oranges need to end up down here. Um, I guess I'm putting these kind of next to the crackers so that there may be a little bit of orange juice that gets on the crackers. Okay. That's okay. And my other large thing are these gherkin pickles. And I might um, let's see. I'm gonna put them there's one that's really large. I'm gonna put some over here as well. Kind of doing a balancey thing here since I don't have another type of pickle. If I had bought another type of pickle, I would have balanced with another pickle. Okay. And the other thing I have are these um, red peppers. There is a clove of garlic in there which I'm gonna bring out and I'm gonna put I'm gonna put these right here these were in uh, packed in oil and um, a bit slimier I didn't get it all drained off okay so there's that and now I'm just kind of taking a look at it to see how balanced it looks. It's it's very balanced. I've got a hole down here at the end of the asparagus, and I'm looking at balance-wise, and I'm thinking that black olives down here, because I have them at the other end of the asparagus, um, would work. I'm good with that. And... Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and balance the rest of this turkey jerky up here. Oops, and lost an orange. Okay. I think that looks pretty good. And um, probably could get a few more green olives on here as well. So I've used just about, there's a little bit of crackers left. Okay. Crackers and. Um, some of these peppers and that. If I had a different size tray, that may have come out a little bit different. Okay, now this is the um, nut and dried fruit mix, which it looks like it's mostly uh, dried bananas. But I'm just going to drop it in this hole right here. And I think I'll put a little bit down here as well. Yes, it is really mostly bananas, but that's all right. Put some more almonds up here. Here we go. Actually, I could have piled the cheese up a little bit taller and um, had more of a space for that. Okay. There we go. I think it's Okay, I uh, added the Andes mints over here onto the back corner, and I just had a little knife I put in there. You certainly could get some um, little serving tools at the Dollar Tree if you wanted to, uh, like little forks. They have some, they're plastic, they look like metal, so they could be fancier. And um, yeah, so there it is. Um, toothpicks, if you want to serve it that way, and people can use, use the toothpicks also. But um yeah, I think it turned out, looks pretty good to me. Thanks for watching.